Hello folks, Scott with Dallas Paint Correction and Auto Detailing here in Dallas, Texas. I want to talk about something. Scott, all you do is want to talk about something. We're tired of it. Get off YouTube. I don't blame you folks, so sorry. Hey listen, as if you weren't, I have a machine I want to talk about. Folks, I'm going to blow your mind. I have in my hand a 21 millimeter throw polisher. It is made in China. Don't freak out. Most of the, the Rupes knockoffs are made in China. This machine right here is made by a company called HYET Professional Tools. Who are they? I don't know. I didn't even know they existed. I've been using this machine for about a month. I have an opinion about it. And the price of this machine is going to blow your mind. This machine right here is 950 watts. That's 50 more watts than the Sherhold, 50 more watts than the Griots, G15 or the G21, 50 more watts than, you know, Torx 22D polisher, certainly a lot more watts than Rupes. Rupes gets blown out of the water by these aftermarket Chinese polishers. But here we go, folks. 21 millimeter throw polisher, weighs about 5.9 pounds, very intuitive, very well balanced, low vibration, has the nice little platypus head on it, right? So it's easy to control. I want to talk about what this machine comes with. Well, first of all, it comes with the machine, right? That would be pointless if you bought it and you didn't get the machine. But it comes with a six inch backing plate. It also comes with the Allen key to be able to remove the six inch backing plate, a set of brushes. So if you need brushes in the future, you can do so. It also comes with a D handle on it. I don't have the D handle with me folks, so sorry. I'm not a fan of D handles, but if you wanted to put the D handle on it, you can. Kind of cool it comes with that. Doesn't come with any fancy bag like the Sherhold 3500 or anything like that, but it's a nice machine. And when I get into the price, you're going to say, Scott, did you buy just one? I'm going to say, no, I bought two of them. <laughs> <laughs> but here we go. If you use the six inch backing plate that comes with the machine, somebody's going to ask me, Scott, do you need a washer mod? The answer is yes. This thing does hit the shroud just like the Rupes does, just like the Griot's G15 or the G21. I am a five inch pad lover. You do not have to make that your opinion or your option. I like five inch pads. If you wanted to go to a five inch backing plate, I found something very interesting. The Rupes five inch backing plate will not fit this machine. The five inch backing plate by Griot's for their G15 will not fit this machine. Folks, the only backing plate that I've been able to find that's five inches that will fit this machine is the Torx 22D five inch backing plate option if you want to go that way. So that's something to kind of keep in mind if you're, you like five inch pads. Even with the Torx 22D five inch backing plate, it still needs a washer mod. Well, I decided, you know what? I'm not going to wash them on it. I'm actually going to cut the shroud right off. That little, what is it, two millimeters long of uh, little plastic or little rubber shroud, I cut it right off. Don't worry, guys. Wait till you find out what I paid for this thing. It's going to blow your mind. I'm also going to do something very interesting for you guys. I bought two of these things. I'm going to take one of them apart to its last nut and bolt. I'm going to check the armature. I'm going to check the bearings. I'm going to put the armature on an oscilloscope machine. I'm going to do a bar to bar reading. I'm going to check the bearings. I'm going to, sh I'm going to check the tolerance of how the bearings fit inside the housing. I'm going to check the laminations of the armature and its windings and how it's insulated. I've had this thing for about a month. I've been playing with with it during that month's time. I've actually done a couple of jobs with it. I want to talk about it. 950 watts, very well balanced, low vibration. If you notice, it's got a trigger on this thing. It also has a locking button. It has a feature very much like the Torx 22D. It's got a digital display. I know that freaks some people out, but hold on, wait till you hear the price. <laughs> This digital display, if I squeeze the trigger, the digital display comes on. It reads zero, zero. Pretty cool, right? If I squeeze the trigger and then hit the locking button, the trigger now is locked in the on position. The, tr the digital display says zero, zero. I hit these buttons, watch what happens. The digital display will show you there's actually six speeds to this machine. 
Just like the Torx 22D, what I do find a little bit aggravating with the Torx 22D, if you're working in direct sunlight outside doing paint correction, it's kind of hard to see that digital display if direct sunlight's hitting it. This machine here, when you squeeze the trigger, not only does it have a digital display, but it's got an LED light bar that lights up, and each one of these bars will light up to tell you what speed you're in. Speed one, speed two, speed three, all of these little LED bars will light up and tell you what speed you're in. That's nice if you're working in direct sunlight and you can't read the digital display. You can see that light bar going across. Folks, really interesting machine. I want to talk about its power. Its power is not as powerful as the Sherhole 3500, even though it's got 50 more watts. It's got more power than the Griot's G15 or the Griot's G21. It certainly has a lot more power than Rupes, forget it. Rupes is a joke. I want nothing to do with that company anymore. Sorry, folks. Don't mean to step on your toes. I got a business to run. But here's the deal. This thing right here, if I use it on this panel, tremendous power on flat panels. If I push down on this machine on speed 5 or speed 6, it just keeps rotating. Where I am noticing where it's stalling, if I'm working on a body line, an edge on this panel, and I hit that edge just right, it will stall. It will stall just like the Griot's G15 and just like the Rupes. You kind of have to finesse the moment. But on flat panels, you can work these edges just like most people are probably already working edges and curves with all the other machines that stall like a dog, certainly like Rupes. But this machine, you'll get through the job just fine. 21 millimeter throw. Let me run this thing on the panel and I'll tell you my experience and how I like it and what I don't like about it. Wait till you hear the price, folks. That's the best part of all of this. I'm just going to, what I have is a 5-inch backing plate on it, right? Torx 22D 5-inch backing plate. I got a 5-inch medium cut orange pad by Americana Global, exact fit pad. Going to put some Meguiar's D300 just as a demonstration here. Let's play a little bit. Let me put three little pea-sized drops. Come on, Scott. Get going here. I'll put four little pea-sized drops. Why not? We got... We can, hey, we can waste product because wait till you find out what this polisher cost. Okay, let me go in here and just show you how this operates. I'll spread this product out. What I'm going to do is pull the trigger and lock the button. Now the digital display is reading zero, zero. I just have to hit these buttons to go up. Speed one to spread my product. I'm going to go to speed five and just do a couple of passes. Then I'll go to speed six so you guys can hear it. If you noticed, I just put a lot of pressure on that test hood. Speed 6, I pushed so much pressure that Jeep hood was starting to flex and pop on me. It did not stall. Where I do notice it does stall is on body lines, right on the edge, on the curve. You'll have to work through it if you want to buy this machine. It will stall just as much as the Griot's. It's a little bit better than the Rupes, but not much. But I just want to be transparent about it. Folks... For this machine, 950 watts, tremendous power, doesn't stall as much as the Rupes, well balanced. What do you think I paid for it? Digital display, might be my only concern with the machine, I'll get into that in a second. Folks, what do you think I paid for this 21 millimeter polisher? Folks, this is the part that's going to blow your mind. I paid $74.99 with free shipping. This company in California who is on Amazon is selling this machine for $74.99 with free shipping. It's not a prime purchase. you got to get it regular shipping from California to Dallas. It took about three days. 
This machine here, my biggest concern is the digital display, durability, longevity and longevity. Not really overly concerned about it because it's $74.99. I used this on one job in the first hour. It paid for itself. Anything it did after that was gravy for me and it did a really nice job for paint enhancement, one steps, using all-in-ones. Folks, who would want to buy this? What if you're on a really, really tight budget? You can't spend 150. You don't have 200. You certainly don't have 400 for Rupes. You might use it once or twice a year. Folks, I reached out to two people who own this machine. I found two people that own it, and I said, guys, what are you seeing with it? The two guys I talked to were professional detailers. They said, Scott, we're not very kind to our tools. We follow you on YouTube. Your tools are always beautiful. They've left them in the back of their truck and got rainwater on them. I don't recommend you do that. They've dropped them on the job and they continue to work. I said, what about the digital display? These guys have owned the machine for over a year. They said, Scott, we've never had an issue. Could it be an issue? Maybe. For $74.99, folks, with free shipping on Amazon. I'll put a description below this video so you guys can find it on Amazon. Absolutely amazing for people in really tight budgets. I love you all. If you're in that financial crunch, but you want to work with a 21 millimeter throw polisher and get better results than the Griot 6 inch, the Harbor Freight 6 inch, and you want to spend a little bit more money than the Harbor Freight, but less money than the Griots, why wouldn't this be an option for you? Certainly if you're only using it once or twice a year, those pro detailers said they had them over a year and beat the living crap out of them. Excuse my French. And they're still working. I've worked for it. I've worked with it for a month. I bought two of them. I got extra parts, but I'm going to take this machine all the way down to its last nut and bolt, and I will report to you the overall quality. Yes, it's Chinese made. I'll check the armature. I'll do all those wonderful things. But for a machine, if you're in a tight crunch and you want 21 millimeter throw, $74.99, folks, how can you go wrong? Not sure you want to use this exclusively for the only polisher you have if you're a pro. I'm not comfortable recommending it that way, but it's going to stay in my arsenal. I'm going to beat it up, and I'll report to you some information that I have with it. But for over a month, it's been working great. I love it. I wanted to share that with you all. Love you. Talk to you soon.